Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this easy Datamos effect slash transition. This is one of the most popular effects on music video. But shout out to Invalid for leaking the sauce to create this exact effect. I was literally seeing this effect a lot and I actually didn't know how to recreate it inside of After Effects. But my boy Invalid got me at the perfect time. I'll leave his socials down below so you can check him out and show some love but anyways let's just get into this so to start off i have this two simple clip of lazy dim so we're gonna add it on here so to do that we'll be actually using a plugin called datamos one if you don't already know it's a plugin which allows you to add datamos inside of after effects it also has a version 2 but everyone i saw and talked to it used datamos one because i think it's better so we'll be using that so let's just open it by going into extension datamos and just talk it right here in the left side and if you open it for the first time it will show up like this the tutorial all you gotta do is just continue continue and let's just get it something like that then hit the okay and firstly you can see a lot of options in here so again big shout out to invalid for revealing me the precious and the settings to create this exact effect so the values he told me is in the interval you gotta put it to 50 or something around there and make sure your duration is on zero and end is on the zero as well so that's really important right there so make sure you have both of those values on zero then make sure you also have remove frames enabled and set the intensity to 12 you can play around with the intensity if you like but i'm gonna keep it simple and if you're doing this for the second time it will also have an option called force render make sure you are uh, enable that as well but anyways now we're gonna go to preset and set it like og plus i think and set the 50 duration to 0 and 12 uh, 12 right there so make sure you are in OZ class so make sure you keep these settings right here or you can play with other preset in here as well but you have to make sure your duration and end is on the 0 so you have the transition going on but anyways now we're gonna hit data mouse uh, let's just save my project real quick I forgot to save it I'll actually make a new folder data mouse tutorial right here and make a folder e and just save it on here actually yes. then it will start rendering out our video and sending it to their software to data mouse and after that's done it is pretty quick most of the time so so now you have played through you can see we have this crazy data mouse effect ready to go you can always trim it till here so towards the another clip so the quality isn't compressed and at the end you can hit the stopwatch in the opacity and just fade it out so it disappears like that and make sure if it's not like matching perfectly the frames you gotta like slide it in one frame like that so now as you can see that's perfect right there so now you can see our first data mouse looks something like this you can always remove this and hit force render again and play with like the interval and stuff and make a new effect in here go with a preset like one hitter remove frame make it to let's go with something unique number right here like 18 and set the duration to zero and for this time we're gonna set the interval to 60 let's just see what happens maybe the intensity to 20 and hit data mouse as you can see that is a bit better i think it's a bit slow than our previous effect i guess so you can always like play around with the keyframes and stuff to get different looks. and super quick i just want to let you guys know that i just launched my ultimate grunge bundle and the ultimate grunge bundle allows you to add those crazy grungy aesthetic to your music video that you see everywhere right now it comes with 60 plus assets in it and in my website there's an insane bundle going on it you are really getting like 27 dollar off on it so hurry up and grab the pack right now the link will be in the description let's get back into the video actually let's just drag in one more clip right here and try it on them let's just do it on these three clips and let's just cut to it like cuz so here and here right here then we're gonna open up data mouse again just for example and we're gonna set it to og curse and set the duration to zero and the intensity to 12 and hit data mouse now once 
once that completed let's just see our result damn that actually looks so insane man i love that let's just slide it in one frame so the timing is perfect now you can see it looks so clean right there you can always trim it till here so it's like so it like blends in perfectly right there and at the end if you want you can even add like a opacity keyframe to fade it out so now i think that looks really cool and our final effects look something like this you can play around with the values and the effect more if you like but make sure to go over to the description and follow my guy invalid he's totally dope i swear also while you're there you can also follow me for sure but anyways that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can also take my digital store for some dope editing packs so yeah see you in next video peace